Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Janae. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys our recent living room makeover and refresh. We have been working on this living room for the last couple weeks and my husband and I have been doing some minor upgrades here and there just to make it feel a little more like ours. And I also have some new furniture and decor pieces that I am very excited to share with you guys. And I also will be showing you some pieces that I have shown you in previous videos on how I am styling them. So everything is going to actually be very neutral and pretty simple. I wanted my living room to transition over into fall. I don't want to have to decorate it from now until then. So like I said, everything's gonna be pretty simple, pretty neutral. I do have some spring touches here and there. And as always, everything that I mentioned in today's video, I will have linked down below in the description box. And I also recently created a new Instagram account. So I am gonna be sharing a lot of my um, decor pieces and inspiration and deals over there. So if you guys would like, you can also give me a follow over there. I will have that account linked down below as well. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump on into the video. Jumping right on into it, the first thing that I'm adding to my living room is this beautiful area rug that I got from Ruggable. I am a huge fan of Ruggable. I love that they are fully machine washable. It's just so practical and I love their design. So I had a lighter one in here, but I replaced it with this nice warm one. It's just so beautiful. It gives me amber interior vibes. And this lamp that I always place over my couch is an Amazon find. I've had it for a couple years now, but it is a perfect dupe for the one over at Pottery Barn. And I got this one for less than $100. So it was just such a good find. I will try to link it below for you guys. And I've had a few of you ask me about this tree. This is the 93 inch olive tree from Target with Studio McGee. It's nice and full, it's super pretty. This next item I am so excited about. This was gifted to us by Valencia Theater Seating. They are a company that own, they are a furniture based company. They have so many different beautiful furniture pieces. So if you're not familiar with them, definitely check out their website. I will have it below in my description box but they are actually known for their custom theater seating. So if you have a theater room or if you just have a TV room set up, they have so many cool options. I chose the Jasper leather accent chair in the color cognac. I thought this would be the perfect accent for my living room. We have very light couches and I thought this would be the perfect pop of color. I'm a huge fan of leather or faux leather accents and I think it's just nice to mix the materials. So I also really love this color. I thought it would look beautiful in my living room and just add some warmth. The assembly was really easy. Obviously it came in this box that we just had to open and the chair itself was already assembled. So I just had to take out the cushions. It came with a little pillow and then the back cushion that just was placed on side. I had my husband help me out with this. And like I said, it was just super easy to put together. All I really had to assemble was the legs on the bottom, which again was just really easy. So I'm just really excited. I think this is going to warm up my living room and just looks so beautiful. So again, thank you to Valencia Theater Seating for gifting us this beautiful chair. And if you guys are interested in checking out their website, I will have all their details listed below. to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubt Be free with me Be free Be free with me Looking back, 
Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. Oh, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Just to soften up the look a little bit, I added this throw blanket that I got from Target and then I added this lumbar pillow. This is actually part of a set of pillows that I recently got from Etsy that I will talk about later on in the video. This side table is from Pottery Barn and then I just finished it off with this little candle that I picked up from Target. This picture that I hang above my couch, I've actually had for a while. It was one of the first pieces that I bought when we purchased our home and I got it from Target. I'm probably gonna keep it here for a while just because I love the way it looks in my living room. And these pillows are a new purchase for me. I got them from Etsy. I purchased them from two small business companies. One is called Hackner Home and the other one is called Knobthorn Home. They are amazing quality. The print is beautiful. I highly recommend them. I think everything just tied in so well with the chair and with the pillows. Everything just looked so warm and cozy. Moving over to our coffee table, I had my husband just sand down our existing one just to make it a little bit of a lighter finish. And then I went in with this polyurethane. This is just a protective clear finish. And I added about two to three coats of this. And this is just so if anybody gets any spills or stains on my coffee table, I'm able to clean it up. I have two young boys, so as much as I would love that beautiful raw look for a coffee table, it's just not practical in our house. Moving on to the decor pieces, I am first adding this decorative basket that I picked up from McGee & Co. And then I added this vase that's also from McGee & Co. And these beautiful blue thistles are from a floral. I just love them so much. I then added a coffee table book and my coasters that I use all the time. And then I topped it off with this little gold bell that I picked up from McGee & Co. from her spring collection. And then over on the right, I'm adding my favorite coffee table book, The Art of Home. And I found this clear candle holder at Home Goods for like $10. Just added a candle. And this look is very simple, but I'm just loving how it warmed up my living room. Everything looks very cozy and spring, and I just love it. Moving over to the other side of the living room, we have these floating shelves with these very bare walls that we knew we wanted to add something to. So we went to Home Depot and we found these panels of shiplap and these were very inexpensive. We just cut them down to fit either side and then we added these very thin side panels and this just made it look a little more finished and complete so you didn't see the raw edges from the shiplap. And then I just went in with some wood filler just to fill the holes from where we had used the nail gun to nail the paneling into the shiplap. And then I just added some white paint that I already had left over and this is just to have it match the shiplap. And these sconces I've actually had for a while. I got them from Amazon and they're in a beautiful brass color. They are completely battery operated and I love that you can charge the light itself, super practical. But we love how this came out. I think it was the perfect amount of texture that we needed and it added a little bit of character to our walls. And then for the decor, I am going in with these beautiful rustic bells that I got from Etsy. And I had this picture frame that I picked up last year from Target. It is from the Hearth and Handline. And I love the shape of the frame. It's just the picture itself was very fall. So I went down to CVS and printed out one of the prints that I downloaded from Etsy. And this was more of a spring print. So I just cut that out and placed that in the picture. And I felt like this was just such an easy and simple way to update this photo and make it a little more spring.
I added this little wicker basket that I recently picked up from Target and then to the basket I just added these clay decorative beads that I've had from Pottery Barn. On the top shelf I am adding this little book and this candle that I got last year from Target. And then over on the left hand side I am going in with my favorite candlesticks. These are from McGee & Co. And then on the other side, I am placing this little vase that I got from Target with these stems that I got from Ikea. Over on the other side, I'm adding this beautiful frame that I recently found at HomeGoods. And both of these prints I downloaded from Etsy. And then I went in with this decorative tray that I got from Amazon and just added this faux candle. And then on the other side, I added these two decorative candlesticks. I recently found these at Home Goods, and they are so beautiful. I just absolutely love them. And then on top, I am placing a little book. And on top of that, I placed this travertine bowl that I picked up from Target. And I placed this faux plant that I got from Pottery Barn in there and then added this little white candle. And to finish it off, I just added this decor piece that I got from TJ Maxx. Okay, so that is a wrap for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I hope that it gives you some inspiration and some tips on how to decorate your space. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. Any ton of support you can send my way is always so much appreciated and I will see you guys in my next video.